So I wanted to um, make a video about this Commodore 64 motherboard. This is the first Commodore 64 motherboard that I obtained uh, when I started um, started experimenting with the Commodore computers again um, recently. I've had this this board for a, about a year, maybe a little bit longer than a year. It's an original uh, uh, 250407 board. Um, and when I initially got this board, it, it, uh, my goal was to um, modernize it as much as possible. Um, so I've, I've added a lot of the ZIF sockets here um, in order to, um, to make it easy to swap chips out for, for testing purposes. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, and, and also there's, there's some sockets here that were added um, at some point um, to troubleshoot the, this board. Um, so the interesting thing about this board is uh, I have uh, this set up here with the, the VIC chip. Um, so over here, there's a FPGA board. Um, this is a Copper Dragon uh, video processor. And essentially what it does is it replaces your modulator board and it connects with, with this ribbon cable um, over to the uh, VIC-2 chip and um, this board has actually been converted from TSC to, to PAL. So this is a PAL setup and um, so this, this the FPGA over here reads the, the signals coming out of the VIC-2 and basically generates its own video signal and it's a a, a YPBPR uh, signal. It converts it, which um, then runs to a, a an HDMI converter and um, goes out natively, you know, HDMI to the, the monitor. So what I'm going to do is um, show you the the difference between um, the composite and S video and the 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 copper the output from the the FPGA board. So I was looking through different uh, demos and video and, and things that um, I could show that easily show the difference between the, the different video modes and really there's nothing really um, better than just the, the Commodore basic um, startup screen. So this is um, standard uh, the, the S video out um, from the Commodore 64 uh, you can see some some jail bars, uh, but for the most part, it's it's it, there's no um, there's no LumaFix in this this Commodore 64. It's just uh, it's got the the FPGA mod in it, um, and um, you can see it's it's it's, it's pretty good. Um, so I'm going to switch to the composite. So that, that's that's this video. Here's the composite video. Um, a little more in the way of jail bars and then also it's a little blurrier. It's, it's a little faded. Uh, not as um, not as good as the S video. Back to S video. So there's the S video. A little cleaner signal. So now I'm going to switch to the, the output from the FPGA board. The Copper Dragon FPGA. So a lot clearer um, overall. Uh, the colors are a little off. Now I, I understand you can change this with um, you can change this with stuff that that will, with with the firmware. Um, I haven't figured out how to, to change the firmware on the Copper Dragon board. It seems to require some like three gigabit gigabyte um, kind of industrial scale. Uh, FPGA programming package and uh, I spent I kind of wasted a few days of my life trying to figure out how to update the FPGA if anybody has any um, simple pointers on on how to update um, an FPGA reprogram it um, I'd love to to hear about it but um, for, I went down that rabbit hole and couldn't figure it out uh, this this board actually has 
some issues or the, the FPGA revision that firmware that this is running. Um, I actually had to install a uh, capacitor on the VIC-2 chip between pins 20 and 21. Uh, otherwise, that it would just uh, start tearing. Um, now, there is some sparkle on this output. It seems to go in and out. Uh, right now, there's really not that much sparkle. It seems like the longer you have the, the board on, the more kind of graphic anomalies happen. Um, but at the moment, it, it actually looks, looks really good. So, um, so really happy with this board overall. I'll, I'll load some, some stuff up real quick. Put in back bit cartridge. Sound here because um, I'd have to connect sound into the, the HDMI connector, the converter. But very crisp graphics for the most part. Here, I'm going to switch it to, uh, to S-Video for comparison. Actually, let's pause it. Now we have sound because this HDMI converter is connected to sound. So that's composite, and this is S video. And I'm going to switch it back to the Copper Dragon FPGA board. Much clearer, much cleaner signal overall.